internet? You ever do something then immediately regret it? Whether it be, I don't know, murdering someone then regretting it a day later. Or, you know, buying a bunch of video games and regretting it because you know you're never going to play them. Or, I don't know, just going out and resubscribing to World of Warcraft again. And then regretting it. You know, two out of three of those are true. I made a mistake today. I went and bought something which I shouldn't have, which you know what? Maybe I need to deserve or reward myself because I didn't go to PAX. PAX was last week. Um, I, I forgot what days it was. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was the end of August, the beginning of September, and people looked like they had a lot of fun, and I wasn't there, and they had a lot of video games, and I didn't go, and the main reason why I didn't go, uh, I hate flying, I'm kind of traveled out, and it was cost me around $2,000. So, PAX was last week, so I stayed at home in my underpants doing nothing, so I needed a reward, and what I reward myself with? Stupidity. I rewarded myself, actually, yeah, exactly, with stupidity. I rewarded myself with a PlayStation Vita. Uh, why? I don't know, and I'm getting that immediate feeling of regret instantly. Now, I wanted one for a while, and actually, um, while I was visiting Kara, I wanted to buy one. And every time, I'm like, I'm gonna buy a PlayStation Vita, she said no. Now, it's not like we have, like, a joint account where it's her money, my money, we share money. It's just like, she told me no, and I was like, Okay, I won't buy one then. And she was doing me a favor, because I don't know really why I want one. Now that Kara's back in school and I'm here, she's not having me unleashed to tell me to say no, so I went on and bought one, and I immediately regretted it. So maybe, for the first time in the history of forever, the first time, a woman is right. God, that's gonna get me a lot of shit. Anyway, uh, I bought the PlayStation Vita, but let's go over quickly what else I bought. And then we're gonna do like a little bit of an unboxing. I know the PlayStation Vita came out like a year and a half, two years ago, but still, it's new to me, so an unboxing maybe it'll be new to you too. And then you can see if you are interested in getting one when it comes inside of it, which I will warn you, you're gonna have that immediate feeling of regret afterwards. I'm hoping all the PlayStation 1 classics uh, will fill me back up with joy. But until then, I am like an orange that's been squeezed of its goodness. You know when you put an orange in a blender and you squeeze the juice out? That's me currently. I am a shitty orange. I have no use. Well, my wallet has no use now. Okay, so I bought the PlayStation Vita. Uh, it's the Walking Dead edition. Now, I wanted to get the one that didn't have the Walking Dead because I had the Walking Dead on PC and get like the PlayStation Plus savings edition and save $50. But they were sold out because GameStop never has anything I want. Why would they? Uh, speaking of which, I ran into a fan at GameStop. He was nice. I had more fun running into a GameStop than I did my shopping experience at GameStop. So that's always fun. Now, I realized upon buying this, they just announced. Um, at, what is it? The Sony, um, the Tokyo Game Show. Speaking of PAX, I mean, you're the Tokyo Game You know all these game shows? I, I don't I, I want to go to Europe to go to a different game show, or Asia to go to a different game show, but the Tokyo Game Show, they're doing the PS Vita, um, I don't know, like, you plug it into the PS3, and then you can play PS Vita games on the PS3, which, so I screwed up, I mind. I got the new game that came out today, Killzone, uh, Liberation, and, um, not Killzone Liberation, that was the PSP game, Killzone Mercenary, and it said it was made with the same engine that made the ones for the PlayStation, well, figure that out and try that out. And then I bought um, Persona 4. I've never played a Persona game, but I really like Atlas after playing Catherine, so I figured I'd give it a chance. It's supposed to be like one of those ridiculous RPGs that isn't like sci-fi or medieval. Um, and then obviously a USB cable so I can plug it into my PS3 and connect it. And then I got myself a nice, fancy, one-of-a-kind leather case, but it has this stupid dongle thing, and I think I'm just going to rip it out using my muscles, because um, I just need a case for it. The original PSP came with a case. I don't know why this one didn't. Or maybe it is... No, it didn't. It did not come with a case. Awesome. Uh, it comes with a 4GB memory card, but I bought a 16GB one simply because I'm going to be downloading everything because I bought $50 worth of PlayStation Plus things um, just so I can get the PlayStation Plus account. Okay, uh, quick disclaimer, because this is coming off really weird. I'm not doing anything for Sony. Uh, it sounds like you're like, chill, you're selling it. No, I just, I want a video game. Here, look, here, fuck. Personally? Personally, <laughs> I think the Nintendo 3DS is a lot better. I like it a lot more. It's got a lot better games, and frankly, I like holding it better like this. There. It's like, chill, you're selling out. You bought something that you wanted. No, I just, I'm a gamer. I like buying things. Let's actually unbox it, and then we could, uh, oh, it's got 3G. I'm not buying a 3G plan. That's stupid. It does come with a US cable, USB cable. Why didn't the guy at GameStop tell me that? He said I needed one. Motherfucker. Okay, so let's open regret and find out if we really regret it or not. 
Uh, I'm telling you, these games are going to be okay, but I'm really, I'm just more or less going for the PlayStation Classics, and I'm annoyed because they don't have Crash Bandicoot for the PlayStation Vita. You can get it on the PSP, you can get it on the PS3, but for some reason, due to licensing with Activision, you cannot get Crash Bandicoot on the PS Vita in the United States. You can in Europe, which is really annoying because those are some of my favorite games. Although, I'm going to play Metal Slug X as well. Wait, so this is just the regular box, but with a... I thought I was gonna get like a special box, so I guess that was a lie. This is the launch box. So it's literally the same thing, uh, but with a different cover skin on it. That's great. Uh, stay connected. Your next place is your view system makes people's mobile blog event. How much do I have to pay per month? How much are they screwing me? How much of a not service am I gonna get? Oh, I'll deal with that later. Uh, here's the four gigabyte memory stick, which I don't need. I mean, could they get any smaller? Seriously? I mean, now we're just gonna have to compare the sizes next to Smarty's penis to figure out the exact size because. It is ridiculous. Too small. I'm gonna lose it. I mean, even the games themselves are tiny. I honestly, I didn't know they were flashcards. I thought they were gonna be discs again, but they are tiny, tiny flashcards. These are like the S. This is probably the same size as a uh, an SD card for the PSP, uh, which is cool, I guess. I mean, things are gonna load faster now, but things are getting really small. I mean, I'm not gonna be able to see it. I'm gonna like back in my day, we had actual CDs and we had, I don't know, things that spun and. Oh, augmented reality. So this is exactly like Nintendo 3DS. Okay, didn't even know that existed. Okay, so there they do have the USB cable. Um, I didn't need to buy one. Thank you, GameStop. Now I can, which we call it, I can actually bring this back and get myself fifteen dollars back. <laughs> okay, don't open that. And here is the bread and butter of what I actually bought. The immediate instant regret is feeling. But you know what? We'll check it out. We'll see how we feel about it. Uh, it's big, which is nice big, feels good, it's got dual joysticks which is definitely needed. Yeah, you know what, it's not It's not too much of a regret, I'll find, I'll moderately enjoy it. I'm gonna enjoy it, I'll sit down in my bed and I'll play some games. Again, my biggest thing is I just wanna go download the games and actually try them out. Does this come with a charge, Sony? No, screw me, do I get a charge? Do I get a charge? Did you give me a charge, Sony? Did you give me, in America we give charges, I guess not in Japan, no charge. Alright, I'm gonna have to charge this. Oh, they did give me a charge, that is... I am so sorry, I did not mean to offend it thee. It looks like you have a USB cable up top and then the games up top. I'm not sure where the memory card goes. Ah, memory card on the side, obviously. Yeah, stick that over there. What is this? This looks like there's something inside of here. What's inside? What am I pulling? Oh! 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 No, 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 no! Put that back in! Put that back! Ah, it's a SIM card! Shit! I didn't mean to do that. Alright, so. Feeling a little bit of regret, but it is a nice system. I'm gonna play some games. They couldn't be any more hip if they tried to with this introduction screen. I'm seriously dying. Okay, so the first thing I had to do is set up my PlayStation account, and I immediately started downloading things. Because that's what I do. When you have 16 gigs, you download everything. So currently, I have downloading uh, Uncharted, Metal Slug XX, Gravity Rush, uh, Dragon's Crown, which all of which I want to play. But the one I did get to download already was Metal Slug X. So one more X and we'd have Triple X, but we're going to play the first one. This was one of my favorite games for the, uh, for the which we call it, for the original PlayStation 1. So we're going to give it a go and see how it translates onto the PlayStation Vita. Press and hold the pinch button. I don't care. Now I have this filmed in front of me as you can see, so I'm going to be looking off to the side. I, okay, I'm in a well-lit room. Thank you. Thank you, game. You care about my health. No, you don't. You don't care about my wallet, which is part of my health. Oh my god, that noise is literally like sex to my ears. I miss that noise so much. It looks crystal clear. I want to see what the resolution is in the, and the uh, the aspect ratio, though. That's the big thing. Come on. Ah, oh, it's 4x3. Come on. Okay. Oh, Harry! Yeah! So far, so good. Control's kind of cool. The only problem is when I was playing this on the... Um, I bought the whatchamacallit version, the 3DS, or Nintendo DS version, and it controls kind of poor. Too much action going on. Oh, crap, loud. So I have a feeling it's going to control just as poor because the, the screen's just as small. Down, up. Eh, you know, it doesn't control too bad. We'll check out what uh, Metal Slug XX controls like and how that looks. But this, seriously, Metal Slug is one of my favorite games ever. Uh, so you know what? We'll give it a go, and we'll have to head back in a bit to see what the other one looks like. So far, regret, not so much. I mean, I could play this on the go, which is the big thing. My regret's going down. Instant jump cut that immediately shows the next Metal Slug game. Ooh, here, Cryware. That's... 
What the? That does not sound exciting at all. That sounds kind of lackluster. But it is Metal Slug. It oh, oh, I like this. I should not even have bought the first one. How do we? Where's the main mission? Main mission? No, main. How do I get? No. How do I get the main mission? There we go. Wait a second. Wait, no! Damn it! Theo! She got kind of hot. When did she get boobs? This is Metal Slug uh, XX, and actually, uh, um, it's a lot better because it's in 16x9, and I can actually see what the hell's going on. So, much better than regular, uh, the regular Metal Slug X, but another game. And we will uh, we'll continue on to an actual PlayStation Vita game next! So far, my regret's not that high! Pew! 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 What does this button do? Oh. This is, oh, shit! Well, I will say this looks pretty good. Uh, again, it's a, uh, I think it's made on the same engine, but it's pretty impressive for a handheld game. Then again, I really haven't played handheld games in a long time, but I'm about to find out how it controls as well. I always like how they shoot thousands of bullets, but they never hit. Oh, just stab electronics, okay? Because, like, the robot overlords don't like that. Ah, melee! I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, I... Shit, I'm not ready for this! Just, he's got a helmet! Oh, I just stabbed right through his head. Okay. It looks pretty good! I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Very handheld. Then again, um, last thing I played was like Seifenfeld for the PSP. I kind of like that. That looks kind of cool. Anyway, this is the Mercenaries game. I'm going to play a little bit more. You get a better hang for it. You can play online with people. But for a, PS for a PlayStation game, for a handheld game, not bad. Pretty impressive. I'm going to go stab him in the face. Can I stab him in the face? Hi, hi, I'm just gonna, just gonna borrow that. I don't mean to do this! Yes, I'm just kidding. No, sorry, I'm giving you a crappy camera angle. Oh well, uh, this is not meant to be recording worthy. Anyway, uh, Killzone, Mercenary. Kinda cool. Plays well, I think. Alright, on to the next thing. So, that is pretty much it. I mean, this is the PSV, the home screen. Kind of looks like the, the Wii screen, for example, where you get all the apps on it for the most part. Uh, it's pretty interesting. I mean, you can do email, browse. I don't know if I'm uh, regretting my purchase just yet, but um, as a gamer, I always like more things. And then I can go on the uh, the PlayStation Store and buy some stuff too, like Hotline Miami as well. It's an interesting purchase. I'm gonna have fun with it. I'm gonna play games. That's what we should do in a world where we play games. We play games. I'm Chill Cash. I'm gonna play some more games. Thanks for watching. <laughs>